Hello everybody, my name is Maxon91 and this is World of Tanks Blitz um, as usual. In front of us we have the Panzer S35 or Panzer Kumpfwagen S35 739F um, which is tier 3 premium vehicle um, I don't know why this account is a very very old one um, I don't have in any kind of clue why also it has gold and also I don't have any kind of clue why me my I'm sorry my PC decided randomly to enter in this account but I'm glad because in my official account I had deleted this vehicle out of frustration and if I remember correctly the frustration was because of the video for this vehicle review in YouTube but after I'm demonetized and I'm going to be demonetized as a channel I had found a very nice way to get to YouTube back some stuff and this is with this vehicle um, so just for a sec I want to see something I'm sorry boys and girls but I must see Yep, I have a review on the B2, but I do not have the review on the S35 because it was flagged. But now this video won't be monetized, so I don't care. <sighs> now, um my personal opinion about this vehicle was, if I remember correctly, very nice vehicle to drive in tier 3, also it's a premium, so if you get it, just um, keep to it, and if, if your channel it isn't uh, monetized, um, if it is, um, well, my recommendation is play with it but never fume it. I don't have any kind of clue why but Wargaming are a bit um, sensitive about this vehicle particularly. Now for all intents and purposes this is a French vehicle which had been improved by the Germans. Um, it has a nice gun I think or something something is better to be honest when the Germans take some kind of vehicle and they um, rebuild it well something at least is better I don't have any kind of clue for the moment what though but in the moment I think we all are interested in the technical specifications and after this in the two or three games which I'm going to play with it. Frontal armor 36 millimeters uh, frontally of the hull and the turret has 56 millimeters. The side is 35 of the hull, the turret is 46, the back has armor plates with thickness of 25 millimeters, the turret 46. I think for all of you the um, obvious weak point is spot or point of the armor of the turret is the commander's hatch. For the hull, well, I remember that this was very easy to be penetrated from the sides. Um, for the front, I think the stook can penetrate this thing, uh, not the stook, I'm sorry, the the Hetzer can penetrate this thing pretty easy um, with the 75mm gun uh, and with the 
105 centimeter gun if I'm not in mistake now vehicle to weighs uh, 19.25 tons it has engine which has 226.6 ho brake horsepower and the brake score blah the engine has 226.6 horsepower so yeah the traverse rate of the hull is uh, 43.56 degrees per second and the traverse rate of the turret is 42.77 degrees per second the time for firing between, uh, or reloading each shell is 3.8 seconds the time for aiming is 2.5 seconds and overhaul um, the rate of fire is 15.74 shots in a minute the dispersion is uh, semi nice in tier 3 0.385 meters at 100 meters the average penetration for the AP shell is 55 millimeters the average damage 60 the average shell penetration for the APCR is 19 millimeters for the damage aspect of the APCR armor 52 millimeters uh, not millimeters damage excuse me for the high explosive well 12 millimeters of penetration 75 damage please keep in mind that the high explosive must penetrate its target otherwise there is no sense to fire high explosive keep so keeping that in mind I'm going to load some high explosive shells and I'm going to put on the music you're going to enjoy the video better with the music without even my voice so yeah let's go
So overhaul, no match for that. I'm with this uh, account, even if I were with my official account. I would do something like that because I'm a very experienced player for Blitz standards. Um, so let's go to the to some other game. So, as you all saw, I tried to destroy the Marda with high explosive shells. I would be successful if he didn't have any kind of help. But let's see what my teammates are going to do now. Uh, uh. The SU-76 is doing nothing though. The T-46, it isn't aware of the situation. And maybe this M2 medium. I think this is, yes, M2 medium. We'll have some kind of idea what to do. But he is a bit scared. Um, he's with a very small... Oh my god. But you're so freaking lucky. No matter. Let's see. Come on, dudes. Both of you can kill him. The other T-46 is FK. Um, yeah. Okay, the Cruiser 2 is with uh, a crappy gun or crappy aim, one of those two things. Hopefully, the M2 medium can finally yep. And also, hopefully, the T46 will come to his sense. Okay, do you... Are you firing? Yeah. Mm. 
nice. So this is very interesting. The battle of the titans um, between the cruiser two and them two medium. Yep, the medium turns into better for him, but yeah. Okay, he will penetrate you now. Well, thanks to the M2 medium, we won. And because the M2 medium had done very big amount of the job, I will put a mark of effective player. So, let's go to the third and final match. Well, they outflanked me, um, which to be honest is the sensible thing to do. Um, this Panzer 2 player had a very nice idea, but I'm consider, I'm concerned, I'm sorry, and consider cons concerning because this Panzer 3 player doesn't have any kind of clue what he must do. He had chosen a spot, which isn't very helpful at all, and because of that, now he's going to die. The murder is the same thing, he has chosen the spot, but this spot it isn't helpful at all, because they all will go up. They had killed uh, 
the Panzer III. And now the Mara doesn't have the reaction time. And now he's wondering what I have to do. And the simple answer is go beside that rock over here or this little hill and try to kill at least one of them. But yeah. Overhaul, I didn't do very big amount of damage to be honest and this is why I'm going to play a fourth game in meantime while I'm playing I'm going to tell you all what I'm going to do so for this pair again let's see I'm going to the central part or building of the fort which is beside on the one of the sides of the flag area so I'm going through the fort walls and maybe this will help me a little bit I wonder something, I must see it with the bulldog after that so through this corner here and now through this one and everything is a-okay we control spotted the light vigor's vehicle um, but someone is trying to get into my back. Some twos. And maybe they are going to... Yeah, some threes. So, I'm pretty much screwed up. Whoa! Some... die I know that but at least I'm going to deal as much damage as I can and I had done that now the AMX 38 is pretty tough machine to be penetrated because the armor is angled and a bit thick You won't receive any kind of help, dude. Sorry. From what I can see, we have a T46 here, which is trying to play as a sniper. And after some amount of time, maybe he will learn that the light vehicles are not meant to be like that. But even the T38. Um, he has a nice idea, kill the weakest one, um, but I think this idea will bite him in the ass like me. Nice. Now you must turn around and destroy the Chiha. Nice shot on the Chiha. Our third player is just AFK, maybe I don't have any kind of clue. No, he isn't. Maybe he was on the phone. Nobody knows. Fire the guns. Please. Why you did not fire? Till now. Yeah, 
the T46 is just trying to play as a TD. You are not a TD. And because of that, you're going to be killed. Maybe. Just maybe. So, let's see now. This player also is uh, from a clan, like me. But I died first. So, how much? 3 kills? Oh, 2 kills. So, now you are yelling for help, but you won't get it. The T-46 isn't understanding what is happening, I think. And because you are firing on the move, your gun it isn't very accurate, but this AMX-38 is a very nice player. Overhaul, I hope that you all enjoyed the video, if this is the case, you all know what to do. So, yeah. Maximum 91, have a nice day, and goodbye.